हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम ऑफ द शर्व शिक्षा अभियान एम एच आर डी स्टेट एस एस ए प्रोडक्शन वेल फ्रेंड्स ऑल ऑफ अस टीचिंग एट द एलिमेंट्री लेवल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन बिकम बेटर टीचर्स एंड वी कीप ट्राइंग आर बेस्ट टू परफॉर्म अ बेटर लैंग्वेज प्लेज अ क्लोशियल रोल एंड ऑल्सो when we teach different languages we try to master that language and also teach it better today we have with us dr kishor kumar from the english and foreign language university hyderabad to tell us how we can improve our proficiency in teaching english welcome dr kumar would you tell us how we can become better english teachers yeah. thank you professor sharma this is a very important question and uh, all of us teach english and we'd like to uh, improve our teaching skills uh, first of all we should know what do we mean by teaching teaching is as you know facilitation of learning mm-hmm. and what is learning learning is nothing but change in behavior or state of knowledge as a result of experience and we have to provide this experience to our learners so that they can improve their language many of us teach english the way we teach other subjects because in many schools teachers are required to teach english science and social studies so we don't realize the difference between teaching a language and teaching a content based subject as you know language is a skill and a skill can be acquired only by practice whereas uh, in social studies content assumes importance and uh, there the teacher can just lecture and uh, transfer the content from the textbooks to the learners brains but in the case of english learners have to get practice in using the language in the classroom so if we lecture in the classroom or if we read and translate the reading text in the classroom the learners will not get practice if you keep reading yourselves without allowing your students to read then at the end of the academic year your reading skills will improve you will be a better reader and your students will remain where they were at the beginning of the academic year so we should remember this distinction between teaching a language and teaching a content based subject now if we have to give opportunities to the learners if we provide opportunities to the learners to use english in the classroom what should we do if we ask our students to read the text will they read it what has been your experience we find students are reluctant to read why it is because they don't find it interesting now here we should remember in our real lives when we read something how do we read and why do we read do we ever read something just for the sake of reading i'll give you 5 seconds think about it can you think of one example where you read just for the sake of reading i'm sure you cannot find even a single example because we either read for pleasure or for information and how can we expect our students to read if we don't provide a purpose for reading the text you must do something to arouse their curiosity and to make them want to read the text once you succeed in doing this then you cannot stop them from reading the text even if you don't ask them to read they will continue reading so what we do in real lives we should try to do in our classrooms also i'll give you one more example if i ask you to write something i'll give you a topic i'll ask you to write an essay how will you write first you list all the things you would like to include in the essay then you will select maybe you have to write only 150 words so you won't be able to include all the ideas so you will select the ideas then you will group them then you will order them i'll start with this idea then i'll go to the next idea okay and finally you write your first draft 
Okay, so far your focus was on content. Now you will read it to find out if there are any language errors. Then you give it to me. But when it comes to teaching writing skills, do we do this? Some of us, yes, do this. But many of us just dictate essays. Expect the students to memorize these essays and reproduce these essays in the examination. If we want to really help our students improve their language skills, we need to give them real life-like activities. And the learner should feel that by doing this activity, they are going to improve the language skills and immediately after they go out of the classrooms, they should be able to use this knowledge outside the classroom. The third thing which we should remember is we teach in different parts of the country. Some of us teach in small villages, some of us teach in towns and some others in big cities. Now, in small villages, English is like a foreign language. In towns, maybe it's like a second language. And in some states and in some cities, English is like a first language. I would like to explain what I mean by the first language, the second language and the foreign language. By first language, what I mean, the language which is used in all the domains, there is no domain restriction. It is used at home, it is used in schools, colleges, and for business purposes. Second language is the language which is not used at home, but which is used in schools, colleges, and for business purposes. Whereas a foreign language is a language which is not used at home, not used in schools and colleges, and which is not used for business purposes or for official purposes. Though we say English is a second language in our country, there are many places where English is like a foreign language. Our learners don't get a chance to listen to English sounds because English is not at all used in their surroundings, in their environment. So, the role of the teacher in such situations is much more than the, ro than the role of the teacher in, in a city. In a city, they come with a lot of English. The students already have language proficiency. Whereas in rural areas, you need to help them more. Then, you may want to ask me how to teach these learners. Is there anything called the best method of teaching English. There are, let me tell you, there are no good or bad methods of teaching English. All methods are good. But you have to decide what techniques you would like to use with your group of learners. No one can decide that for you. In the past, when people went to training colleges, they were told, this is how you need to teach reading skills. This is how you need to teach writing skills. But nowadays, we say the teacher has to make decisions because the, the group you teach is very different from the uh, group I teach. And another important thing we should remember is English is like any other language. It's a tool for communication. When, you sp when we speak in our language, we make mistakes. And when we make mistakes in our language, uh, we don't feel sorry about that. And in order to learn a language, you need to practice. Our learners need to practice. And if you expect them to practice, they will also make mistakes in the process. So when they make mistakes, instead of scolding them, instead of criticizing them, instead of underlying, you know, if they write something and underlying all the errors with the red pen, it's better to make a mention of the mistakes they make and then you can address these problems later in the next classes. You should always encourage them to use English in the classroom. Let them practice. Only when they practice, they can improve their language. And finally, I would like to say, you must be a very friendly person. Now, if the teachers are strict, then learners hesitate to approach them. When the learners are tense, when they are tired, nervous, they do not 
want to participate in the classroom activities and when they don't participate they don't improve the language so uh, we should be very friendly um, and approachable thank you so much dr kumar practice makes a person perfect and you have given us so many clues how to become perfect teachers we must practice our own language to be able to teach in that language perfectly well and also make our learners make use of that language in various contexts to be perfect learners of that language perfect users of that language i hope all my colleagues in various schools of the country would practice this and become better teachers and help students become better learners thank you so much thank you very much